Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9.5 playthrough. Um, well, originally the Alpha 9 playthrough, but... So, today, I know we want to actually build a proper mining vessel. I mean, the dart, she's great. She can take a hit. She's just a little small. A little small. That HV is a pain in the butt to get in and out of. The uh, hatch there, it's just, it's not designed to be a drill HV transport. It's just, that's not what it was intended to do. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there you have it. Uh, it is not a bad shape to be a drill vessel though. It's just too small. Now, I guess we could continue to widen it out so we could lengthen it one more. And I was thinking of doing that, uh, removing all the thrusters, lengthening it one more, and widening it out one more. That would give us a proper, um, a proper hanger inside of it, you know? And then with this, I don't know, we could just... Uh, uh, we we could it would give us options to do a little bit more I think although the problem is we'd have to add more thrust and then yeah it, it all it all becomes this balancing act again I really want to build my uh, a dedicated mining one that's not even combat orientated at all that's just going to be made out of um, just hardened steel, not not combat steel, but just hardened steel, because I want it to be able to lift stuff too. And this thing, this thing is double. It, it's just, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not cheap. <laughs> put it that way. It's ridiculous. Put the once you put the drills and everything on it, it's it's really kind of uh, over the top expensive to, for a mining vehicle. Um, so it's it's not it's not a mining vehicle anyway the problem is the base is insufficient cargo ran into a problem with storage and the problem with the storage right now with this base is if i put any more in it's going to start consuming copious amounts of power and this base doesn't really have the capacity to put out that sort of power unless I want to put a bunch of generators on it and fuel tanks, which I was trying to completely avoid. I mean, yeah, it's nice drawing in that four point whatever it is, K every... Um, 4.48k but really I have figured out a way to bypass that and continue, continue to live off solar and still have plenty of cargo space and all it takes is just another base in close proximity and that's what I've done I popped a hole well I haven't done it yet but I've I'll show you what I've done here let's go down the proper way and that way that's not the proper way either okay this is close enough to the proper way <laughs> we'll just, okay um, where the heck are we here so let's get out of here We'll straighten out here so that you can see what's going on with the back of the base here. I know I still got to finish texturing and painting and all that. 
But I got to finish building the thing first and ran into a snag. So what I've done is I've set up some panels on a second base. You can see the other core there. I was able to place it that close. That close. I could not get it any closer. I tried lining it up as best as possible. And I did pretty good. It's not... It's not horrible. It is off a bit, but it's not horrible. So it's it's workable. And then these panels, so I I double stacked them. And then what we're going to do is they are the type that go completely snug flat up against. So I'm just going to run concrete. This is going to be the top of the storage shack here so we're gonna we're gonna make another shack inside uh, or a, another base for just cargo underneath our base and right here you can see we've got a wi-fi here and we've got wi-fi running up to there i can i could get rid of these blocks now if i wanted to and the wi-fi blocks would continue to function and I probably will do that eventually. So right now, the reason I ran this way the hell up here is because when I'm working on, you can see we still got a solid, solid signals here. When I'm working on a CV or something way up here, I still have access to. So we have me base, which is the new base that has no cargo to it yet and we'll call that we'll rename that that's going to be a storage shed that's going to be one of the sheds uh and then of course there's the dart hole mole the box top the husk and the hanger so i can access everything from here if i if I didn't run that Wi-Fi up, I don't think I could quite access the other base if I was floating up this high. But now that I can, I can have storage underneath my base and have access to it from anywhere within my base, my main base that is, without consuming copious amounts of power from the main base. So. It's not going to be something that I'm going to hang out in or anything. I mean, it's going to be pretty much Wi-Fi storage. And I'm going to have it powered up because in in true spirit, um, I think we should have power running to stuff, and especially because it's free with the sun right here and just getting cranking out the... I, don't, I only got like 14 panels on it because I didn't bother with the 15th, but even 14 panels were, were kicking 4.18 KPU. So, wow. So that'll allow me to put, put like, you know, 10 maxed out storage containers on it, right? Because each one is what, uh, 40 containers in total each one and each container is is uh 10 wasn't it 10 let's take a look so let's get to building this here we're, we're gonna connect we're connected to here let's get these concrete blocks in here and we've got our controllers we've got the extensions Okay, we're going to be putting the repair bay on the main base, and that's going to be going up top. i got to make a control panel for that. We, we've got more wireless. I was thinking of making another base, a, another storage shed right beside this one, because I think I'm going to need it for, like, ores and metals, potentially. But we'll get to that if we need to. Um, this one should give us a ton of storage, and we're also going to utilize uh, its power for a couple of uh, gravity generators and that should be able to propagate up through the base a bit at least a few levels so so on the main base it should it should all our our work shed floor should be all gravity 
with the uh, with the shed underneath it. Our work, our work, sorry, our main base hangar floor should have gravity to it because the storage shed underneath will have gravity generators and it's in fairly cro close proximity like you saw so um, yeah this should be good so let's get to building it we need what else do we need we need we need we need doors I guess we could use a um, like a shutter maybe or like uh, even force field you know what let's do a force field then it doesn't like close on it I might do that on the top and bottom you know what you know what I think that's a good idea we should use the force field then it's not like you're not having to bump into the um, to the door to open it type thing right because I've, I've experienced that before where you can you can actually bump into the door because it like it 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 just doesn't work properly okay uh so i think that's all we're gonna need for this i'm not sure if i'm even gonna uh, well you know what it's it's not too expensive i can just i can do it and put an o2 you know what i will do that because it's it's a good idea i'll put some o2 in in there and make that accessible so it'll have O2 and uh, and storage or O2 and yeah O2 storage and really that's about it right I think that's all we're gonna need I'm trying to think of anything else and you know, everything else is just a waste I won't need it I won't need it. Not for this. I might. I don't even think I'm going to need like multiple capacitors because it's not going to be like if it's running, it's running. If it if it slowly charges, it slowly charges. If there's nothing consuming the power past what it's normally consuming, then it'll charge up to max and never need. Although, um, I think it only has an output of a certain amount. We'll look into that. We might need that actually. Let's grab that. Windows? Are we gonna put windows? Definitely not armored windows. This is not the base for armored stuff. Um, and regular car cargo. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea too. We're gonna put some regular, regular cargo in it. I don't know why I'm fumbling with that word. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got lots of stuff on us here. Let's uh, start building. So I want to put, let's lay out a full top deck here. Come on. There we go. And we'll just pull this across. that's sealed that should be sealed it said it was airtight so it looks like it will be I'm pretty confident it is I think it'll be good okay come on no nope. right and pull and that's it okay <coughs> I'm not sure if we'll have enough see this is just gonna be a storage shed really so I don't it doesn't have to be massive I mean it's already going to be pretty freaking massive I'm not going to bother with any windows I don't think right we're not going to hang out down here this is where they'll like Stick IT. Okay. And so 
that's one more. Actually, I lined this up not bad, not bad, not bad, considering. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make that an entry there. I gotta remove. I gotta move the core, obviously. That's in the <laughs> in the freaking way, um, and that'll get moved too. So I was just testing to see how much energy we could draw from these 14 panels, and it'll be plenty. Okay. Let's um. It's probably gonna be wide enough, eh? Did I just say A? God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get it built. Get these walls up and right there. So that's roof number one. And do I do the full width? The full frickin'... I mean, that's pretty frickin' high. That's pretty frickin' high. That's 10, right? So... That would be 8 in... 8 high inside. <laughs> it's towering. It would be massive. I mean, I guess I could make a, I could turn it into a little mini dock, eh? Oh, wow, what a, what an idea. Yeah, have some force field emitters sticking out one end of it. Oh, brilliant, let's do that. I think we can do that. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, so we'll make a, we'll make a little SV cargo. <laughs> kind of shed but realistically it's our so yeah okay I'm I'm cool with the eight then because that'll be a little mini a little mini hanger a little mini hanger underneath that's kind of cool I didn't I don't know why I didn't think of that before and that way that way even though that it's cargo, it still can function as a hangar too, if if need be for, you know, if I have too many vessels. Um, so that's a wicked cool idea. I want to do that. Let's how big? Let's let's see what we can do here. So by fourteen, five by eleven. That sounds like the ticket, doesn't it? Three by nine, three by five, that's not bad, I mean, three by five, that means I could do a two of those to make a six by five. That's a pretty decent opening for a SV, really, when you think about it. Most of my SVs don't get that much bigger than that. Although, if it's going to be a cargo one, meh, meh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know what? Maybe we should make a cargo hanger. A cargo SV hanger when it, for when I actually make a decent cargo SV. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Well, we got lots of blocks then. So I'm gonna well, I'm gonna have to make more blocks, I mean. We've got lots of blocks to put in, so we're not even gonna come close, are we? But we can get a bunch of cargo made. We can get a bunch of cargo made so that we can have access to it. Come on. I think... I think we'll do the same thing. This will be a... Uh, 
this will be just concrete down. Yeah. Then I can put, uh, then I can get some. Wow, that's really hard to see, isn't it? Let's turn the light on. <laughs> Jeez, it must be like total crap for you guys. I'll have to, hopefully the v video doesn't look horrible. Okay. So yeah, we'll get this box built or hanger. Yeah, it'll it'll that's that's a that's a nifty idea. Nifty. Jeez. Sound like my dad. Okay. That up. Uh, five. We're probably going to have to make more. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to make a bunch more. Oops. Yeah, we're under 200 now. We won't. We won't be able to uh, fill that in. Nope. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Kind of built it a little bigger than I thought I was going to. We'll just keep getting the wall and the floor built here so that uh, we can start putting cargo up against the back wall. And the, the core actually signifies where the elevator block will come down so that's um that's handy to, <laughs> I mean, well not handy but you know uh yeah yeah <clears throat> okay This would make a decent little hanger, SV hanger, too. The only problem is... Yeah. Because once I get these built out... Yeah, they won't, it won't interfere with their view. Yeah, it'll be fine. Because I was going to put... On this side, it's going to be a bunch of windows, um, windowed apartments, basically, I guess. I don't know, this base is ridiculously huge. It was, it's all for the hangar. It's all for the hangar. <sighs> I'm going to suffocate out here. Let's go get some go get some oxygen. Okay. And then I keep forgetting I had doors there. It's handy. Put doors every through everything that way when you're when later on, when you go to build something, it's like, oh, I'm glad I put a door there. Huh? Haven't you ever had those moments where you wish you put a door there first? Because it was like an obvious place to put a door, but you decided not to because you're just being lazy and didn't put a door there. But you knew eventually you're going to want a door there, so you should have put a door there. Okay, let's stop the door talk. Okay. Um, okay, where are we going to put the door? Right, it goes down there. So, let's do that. Where the hell? Four, that's not enough. Let's put, uh, let's just move the concrete for a second. Is that all I got? 78. Jeez. Yeah, 
let's get some more going. I'm going to need more. I'm going to need more. Let's just... Uh, where the heck did I put that? Um... It's in one of these, isn't it? No? There it is, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, we can just put it back in itself, that's fine. Let's get... Because if we're going to build another one, we're going to need lots. I have a feeling I'm going to need a couple stacks for some reason. If we don't, oh well. We, I think I think we can afford the stone at this point. <laughs> I think we can afford the stone. So, not a big deal. Okay. So that's going to be coming down. Now, could did were we actually allowed to? We did build one on there. Okay, so we. We should probably, how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? We could, um, you know what, let's, let's loot, let's use doors there because We'll use a door and then I can just use something to fence it in with after around it. We can put some glass around it. Just so it's like a, a funneling into it. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll remove this. Okay. Because we're going to put a door right there. A door. Yeah. And why do I not have one? Do I not have one? Okay. So we'll grab one of those. And we will need more of those too. So we'll grab that. We'll have to make some more of those. Um... In the meantime, it's making concrete blocks for us in the other bin. But we'll get this down. So let's go like that. And then and then what we'll do is we'll use, um, you know what? There's four windows right here. Let's just do this. Let's do this. There we go. We'll go like this, and then like like that, and boom. Okay. And I can't even get through there, so let's see. Let's see if that actually is going to work. Okay, and we head down and, oh, did we make it? Yeah, we did, see? There's the car right there and the door's opening. Yeah, okay. Okay, brilliant. So we need to move the core, so we're going to have to make another core. So let's do that. Do it in this one. Uh, yeah, out to that. That's fine. Let's do that. And then, so what else is it going to need? We need, uh, we've got all the controllers and extensions. We've got ventilators. O2 tank. Okay, so what about lights? Do we have any lights? Plant grow light. 
guess if we want to do a garden we've got grow plots <laughs> 20 of them um yeah no we've got enough of a garden okay that's cool that's cool i wanted to see if that was going to work so that is going to work let's grab this and we're going to pop the core on that thing so it's going to lose all the charge on the battery i just don't even care <laughs> at this point i don't care so let's just pop it um, where are we at here four four Sometimes you get lucky and you get the whole core back, but that's really rare. Okay, so, um, well, I guess we just keep continue with the elevator blocks there, right? So let's do that. Let's just move these for now. They're super lightweight, right? Mass 40.10. And per, eh, that's not that bad. Okay. Get that up there. There. So now, oh well, doesn't come down very far. We'll we'll make some more. Um, we got to put a core in this thing. So I don't want to do it where the elevator is going to poke down through the floor. Hmm. You know what? We can just put the core. I don't want it to be in the middle because it'll get bashed up. So if we just put it off to the side center here, we can stand on it or do whatever. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That's fine. Okay, that's a better spot for it. Okay, so. I guess what we're going to do now is get a couple of containers going, right? So this is going to come down this block here. I guess what I could do is I could run a container right to the ceiling there beside it. Let's do that and see how big, how much that actually holds. So I want to run right down to there. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And each one of these only holds 8,000. Okay. So that's not much at all. Let's, um, hmm. I'm going to make this wider. I'm not sure I could. So I can make a couple, I can make a bunch more of the, uh, I've got all the mats to make more of those force fields, no problem. I think we need a triple stacker here to actually get even anywhere. You know what? We, we need like a quadruple stacker, I think, because that's only one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight times eight, so sixty-four k. Sixty-four k. That means two lines of it is a hundred and twenty-eight k. So that means two hundred twenty-eight k. So that's two hundred fifty-six k. And then we have another line up the center. Okay, so let's do this. So 
we go all the way up, boom, and then we come all the way down, and then we put a controller in, and yeah, like that. And then again, so right now you can see we are at, what are we at? 192,000, so we still got a ways to go. So we'll put, um, two more lines. We'll see how that does. <laughs> there we go. I think that's exactly the amount too. Are you kidding me? Did we did we somehow make some fluky one, two, three, eight Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh I love it when things like that work out. So that's a perfect perfect max container. Three hundred and twenty thousand right there. Boom. Now, we can't duplicate that here, can we? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five. We can't. But we could do one back and pitch one forward and come up the wall there. So what are we going to do in the center of these then? We're going to do cargo boxes, right? Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking too. So, do we do the big ones like this and face them out? Or do we do a stack of five? I mean, we don't. We don't. Yeah. Let's do a stack of five. We'll just do a stack of five or eight. Stack of eight. <laughs> stack of eight. Ooh, stack of eight. You know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna switch to this one. Okay. That way, this will be. Oops. Let's switch it to this, and we're gonna flip this around. Back, front, okay. And we'll put four of these in. Okay. Excellent. And then we continue with the Oops. Come on. There we go. Now, do we do... Yeah, let's do... Because we can get it right into the... Oh, wait. But it's going to... Is it going to be buried? It won't be buried. That's okay. Let's just go like this. And then we bring this one down. To there. We put in a, another controller. Like there, and then the container extension. Okay, cool. Um, now, I guess I could go along this wall too, because that's what I was thinking of doing. Like the whole Although I don't know if it would have enough power to do it, because right now, what what's it consuming now? It's probably something ridiculous. <laughs> um, that's it. Two fifty five. Was I off on my calculations? Well, that's okay. Two fifty five. Um, good. We can create a whole bunch of con yeah. We can make this thing a massive container storage hangar 
So let's continue on. We'll put the the next set here so that that maxes that one out. So now that's two maxed out. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to do... Cargo again along there. Let's do that. Yep. So... Um, Where's the back? That's the back. So let's get it to the front. We want all this matching. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do more container extensions. Whoops. Come on. Whoop. Come. Stop. Thank you. And then all the way down, except for the last one, we'll put another controller in. I want to flip that. Where's the, there we go. I want the, uh, I want the buttons to the front. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Two more. Two more, so that's maxed out. And then um, more cargo. More cargo. Okay. And extensions. Ugh. And extension, and then yeah, we'll start from there and go up. And we can go down. Oop, whoa, 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 whoa. Right there. And right there. Okay. Nice. So that's four maxed out storage controllers. Let's take a look at the uh, energy consumption. So not that bad at all, actually, as uh, I'm quite surprised. So this is good. This is good. This is good. Did they, did they change? Did they actually change how expensive this stuff is? Oh, come on, let me look at it. Um, can I? Ah, it's too bad. It's not letting me. It's not going to let me. Okay, so. Um, let's see. We've still got. No, no, it's 10. Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Look at that. Wow. Wow, big difference. That used to be 10. So that, okay, awesome. Well, I'm going to head back. I'm going to call this an episode. I'm going to finish this off uh, off camera. Um, so they've, they've done something to the cost of the cargo extensions, and I did not know that. Uh, well, that's cool. That's cool, because you know what? My big base is going to need all the power it can conserve anyway, and this just made sense. So I'm glad I did it, because <laughs> I don't have... I still don't have the power on the big base when I... what I'm going to need anyway. Well, guys, there we go. Um, 
Actually, that wasn't that hard to get in and out of at all. That just... Pfft, sweet. Sweet. That's going to be great. I can move my vehicles down under there, get them parked out of the way. I can get the, the CV parked up top if I need to. This is all starting to come together now. I've got the railings up. I've got... I finished building. I'll show you what I've finished here. So I sealed all this in. I haven't oxygenated it yet, but um, yeah, it's sealed. It's sealed. So I was going to put walkways around this. This is going to be like the uh, nightclub, bar, restaurant. I don't know, but there'll be there'll be like this is going to be like a mezzanine seating around it. I'll have stairs coming down. Probably down the center here. Or I might have like a island. A little. That's what I'll probably do. I'll have little islands that come off. And then have seating on them. And stuff with, with also uh, um, railings around it. And then the downstairs I don't know are the, the the first floor first floor I guess will be the main seating partying area I don't know whatever the dance floor <laughs> yeah yeah turn this into a big nightclub why not a nightclub in space well I'm gonna go get some oxygen and uh, come on let me out before I suffocate thank you very much <laughs> Get down to the nitty gritty there. So yeah, the base is coming along. And now that I've got my storage situation well under control. So from here, I'm just showing you the, the proof of concept in the works now. Um, we can go into the base underneath i gotta rename that and select any one of the <laughs> containers now and controllers and have mass storage at our fingertips wherever we are on the base that's so cool that is so cool so i gotta i gotta fill that up i, I guess i can make like 20 maxed out ones or something and have like I, I don't know. I don't know. Insane amounts of storage. That's all I know. I can make insane amounts of storage. So, well, next episode I should have those built. And until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.